In the heart of a bustling city, nestled between towering skyscrapers and neon-lit streets, there stood an old antique shop named the Timekeeper's Hourglass. It was a place shrouded in mystery, its windows adorned with ancient artifacts and strange curiosities that seemed to whisper tales of forgotten times. One stormy evening, as the rain poured down in sheets, a young woman named Eliza hurried through the cobblestone streets, seeking shelter from the tempest. Her eyes caught sight of the shop's flickering sign, and she dashed inside, the doorbell tinkling behind her. The interior of the shop was dimly lit, the air heavy with the scent of old books and incense. Eliza's eyes wandered over the shelves lined with peculiar objects, a crystal ball, an ornate dagger, a clock that seemed to tick backward. But what drew her attention most was a magnificent hourglass resting on a velvet cushion in the center of the room. The hourglass was unlike any she had ever seen. Its frame was intricately carved with symbols and runes, and the sand inside shimmered with an ethereal glow. Eliza reached out to touch it, and as her fingers brushed the glass, a voice echoed in her mind. Welcome, traveler, the voice whispered. I am the timekeeper's hourglass, guardian of the temporal realms. You have been chosen to embark on a journey through time and space. Eliza blinked in astonishment. She had always been fascinated by tales of time travel, but she never imagined she would encounter such a phenomenon in real life. The voice spoke again, guiding her to a small wooden door hidden behind a tapestry. Step through this door, and your journey will begin, the voice urged. With a mixture of trepidation and excitement, Eliza pushed open the door and found herself in a strange and wondrous place. The air crackled with energy, and she realized that she was standing in the midst of a bustling marketplace in ancient Rome. The sights and sounds overwhelmed her senses, the vibrant colors of the market stalls, the exotic scents wafting through the air, the cacophony of voices speaking in a language she could not understand. Eliza marveled at the scene before her, feeling as though she had stepped into a living tapestry woven from the threads of history. As she wandered through the market, Eliza noticed a peculiar figure watching her from the shadows, a man cloaked in a hooded robe, his eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. Sensing her curiosity, the man approached her and introduced himself as Lucius, a traveler like herself. I have been searching for the timekeeper's hourglass for many years, Lucius explained. It is said to hold the power to traverse the ages, to unlock the secrets of time itself. Intrigued by his words, Eliza decided to accompany Lucius on his quest. Together, they embarked on a series of adventures that took them to the far reaches of history and beyond. They visited ancient civilizations lost to time, witnessed pivotal moments in human history, and unraveled the mysteries of the universe. But with each journey, Eliza began to notice subtle changes in herself. She felt a strange pull toward the hourglass, as though it held some kind of power over her. And as the journeys continued, she started to lose track of time, unable to distinguish between the past, present, and future. One day, as they stood on the precipice of a towering cliff overlooking a vast expanse of stars, Lucius turned to Eliza with a grave expression. The hourglass is not just a tool for traveling through time, he said. It is a prison, a cage for the souls of those who dare to wield its power. Eliza's heart pounded in her chest as she realized the truth. She had been lured into a trap, ensnared by the hourglass's seductive promise of adventure and discovery. But now, she was trapped in a never-ending cycle of journeys through time, unable to escape its grasp. Desperate to break free, Eliza pleaded with the hourglass to release her. To her surprise, the voice of the timekeeper spoke to her once more, this time with a hint of remorse. I am sorry, traveler, the timekeeper said. I cannot undo what has been done, but I can offer you a choice. You may remain trapped in this endless cycle, or you may become the new guardian of the hourglass, ensuring that no one else falls victim to its allure. Eliza hesitated, weighing her options. She knew that becoming the new guardian would mean sacrificing her freedom, but it was the only way to prevent others from suffering the same fate. With a heavy heart, she accepted the role, knowing that she would spend eternity watching over the hourglass, a silent sentinel in the flow of time. And so, Eliza became the timekeeper, bound to the hourglass for all eternity, a solitary figure standing at the crossroads of time and space. As the ages passed and civilizations rose and fell, she remained steadfast, a silent witness to the ebb and flow of history, her soul forever intertwined with the fabric of time itself.